Cleveland Clinic has one of the best health information technology systems in the country. It means they can provide better care for patients. They don't have to duplicate test after test because it's all online. President Obama has held up the Cleveland Clinic as a model for the future of healthcare in America. And here's the remarkable thing. They actually have some of the lowest costs for the best care. The reason for all of the praise is that the Cleveland Clinic has its doctors, nurses, and patients wired into a single digital network of health information. 23 set, respiratory to 23 set. The Obama administration is spending $45 billion of stimulus funds to replicate this system in hospitals across the country. Here at Cleveland, doctors say patient care has improved, but no one claims the system is saving any money. What's more, Cleveland may not be an easy model for others to follow. The hospital spent decades perfecting a method of coordinated patient care, rare in American medicine, and it had deep enough pockets to slowly and carefully bring its digital network up to speed. So Mary, how is she doing? She's doing great today. Dr. David Bronson began at the Cleveland Clinic before the digital overhaul and was skeptical at first. The electronic medical record in many ways is, a, is more work. It affects your ability to be efficient in practice until you get good at it. Now Bronson can't imagine practicing medicine any other way. The, the way doctors practice normally is that they are unable to track their data very well. So that's akin to driving down the highway uh, saying I'm doing 60 but not having a speedometer. You think you're doing 60, you really don't know. One of Bronson's patients came in complaining of a swollen foot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the tool. Using the electronic record system, Bronson also realized she was due for a mammogram. We haven't done a mammogram this year. We're going to do one pretty soon. You're doing very well. This is just one example of how the digital system can help patients get better care. But Dr. Martin Harris, who oversaw the digital transition at the hospital, warns against moving ahead too quickly. If you install the entire electronic medical record on day one, that can be a very dangerous model. We did not do that. What they did do was gradually phase out paper, spending $100 million over almost a decade. And still, they spend millions annually on redesign and maintenance. Buying a computer is not going to suddenly cause your operating costs to drop. Now President Obama expects every hospital and doctor that receives federal funds to adopt a similar system in the next five years. The goal? To improve quality and lower costs. But in places without the advantages of the Cleveland Clinic, success could require a change in the way hospitals operate. When we start to look at the value of this technology, it's not so much about the technology itself, but it's rather how you use the technology that produces quality improvements.